G'day everyone, the Global Surveyor here. I've just finished a survey out at a place called Westmead, which is in uh, Sydney, sort of western suburbs of Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Just packing up my survey gear now. I have a, um, a 360 degree camera, Insta360, mounted to a uh, little neck mount thing that I'm recording this video with, so I'm hoping it's going to turn out all right. Um, in a moment, after I've packed up my tripod, I'm going to get the GPS out and just take a few measurements on the curb to some survey marks that I have found, and uh, very shortly I'll I'll explain to you um, some of the difficulties that I've had with these survey marks. So the first thing I'm going to do is get out my Leica carbon fibre prism pole, which I'm doing now. Extremely light, really, really light. And I'm going to go into the, the vehicle now and grab the uh, GS18 receiver, which we're going to put a battery into. Otherwise, it won't work. Make sure the battery is in. Typical fashion, my GPS. There we go. Got to make sure the battery's pushed firmly in, otherwise the door won't close. Let's screw this pole on. Get it to the default height, which is two meters. And turn this on now. Like so. We're going to mount the CS20 controller, which not only controls the total station, but it also controls the uh, GPS. I'll just let that boot up. Once it's booting up, I close my back of my ute. Just for safety, we should close the doors. So this video is going to be a slightly longer video, which is, I think, what TikTok and YouTube are really pushing for. Definitely TikTok, anyway. So if you're watching this, Hang around or press pause or save the video if you've got something to do and come back and watch it in bits or in full if you like. Okay, we just The beauty of this controller, it does control the total station and the GPS, so we're going to yeah, function instrument, change it to use GS, which is the GPS. GS18. And as we can hear, it's connected to the geosensor, so the uh, controller and the GPS are talking to one another. What we're going to do is connect the GPS to Leica SmartNet, which is a, a uh, GPS correction service, which enables me just to have this one GPS receiver talking via the internet to, uh, or receiving corrections from a nearby cause station. Cause meaning, 
continuously operating re reference station. And the GPS is initialised. That's pretty quick. And at the moment we've got an accuracy of 9 mils horizontally and 8 mils vertically. So that's pretty darn good. So I've got a few marks on this kerb and gutter, as you might see this. I see this brand new kerb here. Well, my survey subdivision plan that has the survey marks on said that this whole kerb had survey marks, which helped me define the property boundaries, this property I'm working on just here. Well, it's all been replaced, and sure, the kerb and gutter looks nice, it's all nice and new. However, all the marks are gone, so thank you very much, uh, Parramatta Council, uh, for doing that. Um, I'm not really sure who's responsible, but if there's any one part of Parramatta Council or any other councils, and you're in the engineering section or any of the sections that are involved in constructing curb and gutter, it might be worth contacting the, you know, the in-house surveyor, maybe that you've got at council, or doing a bit of due diligence and just checking to see if there's no survey marks because they've all gone, which means that I've got to use this GPS and measure further afield. Which is an absolute pain in the neck. So we're just going to go for a walk. And uh, there are a few marks along the way. I'm going to measure to. So I'll just get this GPS going. Set a code. Code, drill hole, curb, GPS. Might be able to see this little yellow mark here. Instantaneous. The great thing about this Leica GPS is it goes pretty quickly. Coin stored. Coin stored. Coin stored. Coin stored. Coin stored. Coin stored. This measures very, very quickly, which is great for Leica, and it is a um, uh, this GPS receiver is tilt compensation, so I don't ever have to worry about the um, the bubble. It's a bit weird walking along here talking to yourself. I'm talking to you guys, really, but... Um, RTK, initialization locked. RTK initialized. The, uh... I've got my camera. People are looking at me. Very strange. Now oh, there's some state survey marks here in the kerb. Someone's painted yellow. Street, there's been quite a, quite a few um, subdivisions that have taken place. So there are sort of plenty of survey marks if you know where to find them. But unfortunately, in the other street, my marks were all gone. Well, not all gone. Take some Here we go. 